We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. A good matchup here for you tonight between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Mickey Mantle, one of the league's top power hitters, looks to gain ground in the home run race. Next. Blake Snell, the southpaw out of the state of Washington, will be the starter. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. Coming to the plate now, Mickey, Mickey Mantle. His squad Mantle. has put together a strong year, and his home run production hey, has certainly go, been a big part of it. Yeah, he's been a monster, not only on the field, but off it as well. Representing an elite power threat in the lineup and also helping guys off the field in the clubhouse with a veteran prep. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. Yankees nothing. Tampa Bay coming up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Luis Severino will be on the mound for the series opener. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Leading off with the Yankees. All set for the start of the fourth. So Mickey. digging in now, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Around second now and headed for third. Slide, slide, the slide. Right throw. And he and is out at third. And that's a big mistake there leading off the inning. To me, that was just way too big of a risk. If you're leading off an inning and you've already got two bases easily, pull up and pat yourself on the back. You're already in the scoring position, but now they've got nothing to show for the leadoff extra base. Ready now, oh, Mickey, Mickey Mantle. He's set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. Mickey. This game is rolling right Mantle. along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Hey, get your pitch. Stay through it. Let's go. Drive it. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Next for New York, Mickey Mantle. Now He's got a hit in three at bats hitter. to this point. Mickey. Mantle. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Chalk up another multi hit game for this guy. He is absolutely on fire. He's been on a nice hot streak as of late, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. Digging in to try it again. Now Reggie batting. Jackson. The right fielder. Reggie Jackson. Hey, get your pitch. No one better up there. The 0 1 offering. High and deep to right. Go, 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 go. Meadows moving back. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as they've taken a two-run lead.
He's one of the best home run hitters in the league, and rightfully so. You're not going to get cookies thrown at you every at-bat. Most guys can handle a fastball, but he waited back on that off-speed pitch and drove it right out of the yard. Stepping hey, in, Mickey time. Mantle is one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play Mantle. is in order, however. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Damn. Good eye. Good eye. Hey, let her fly. Let her fly. The 1-0. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. There we go. Leave you right here. Right guy, right place. Need you here. The one and one pitch. Curveball bounces, and that gets Again, by to the backstop. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. Clutch up. Drive him in right here. Here you go. And he chased it in the dirt. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Good pitch there. And that was a nice job by his battery mate to complete the play first after the ball hit the dirt. Stepping in, Mickey Mantle. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Mickey Mantle. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Mantle brings in a batting line above the 450 mark. Do not sleep on his at-bats, folks. Matty, he's having one of those dream seasons right now. The ability to work the count, the ability to get on base north of 400, and having a great batting average. This guy's hey, certainly pitch, one of the pitch. best players in the game right now. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Well, all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three, and they weren't far off, but I think that was a good call. Looked to be just a bit outside. Stanton at second. Martinez on at first with two down. Hey, come on, big guy. I need you right now. And it's fouled away. Here's the one-two. Hold high in the air out to right you're field. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going. Meadows will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Yankees forced to settle for one. One last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th now. The Yankees lead this one 3-2. to two. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but... Hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. So the Bronx Bombers with a division best 102nd team win. Mariano Rivera gets the win in relief, his second of the year. Goose Gossage wraps it up for the save, his fourth of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, three runs on eight hits. One error, they left 19 men on base. For the Rays, two runs, nine hits, no errors, they left 12 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes.
We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. It's Baseball on the Show, and it's coming up next. Babe Ruth is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy on the bump sitting on 99 career wins. So you know right now while he's taking his warm-ups, he's thinking about one thing. I need one more win to get to that magic century 100. That's a pretty big feather that you'll be able to put in your cap, and we'll see how he does in this one here today. Off for the Yankees. The designated hitter. In now, Mickey, Mickey Mantle. He had a couple of hits Mantle. in that ball game last night. Stay hot, baby. First pitch coming. Here it is. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Ruth has racked up over 1,300 innings on the Major League mound. And through those innings, he's worked to a whip under 1.20. League average is around 1.3, so that's a respectable number. And this yep, misses the outside right, corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Rays entering play here tonight. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Hey, thanks, Matt. You, you know what, Dero, you huh? got to give this team a lot of credit. They're on the outside looking in on the postseason picture, but boy, they're playing out the string and they're playing out well. They're going to play this thing all the way to the end of the season. You know, Dan, I can't speak for the pitcher side of it, but. I have never been on a team, win, lose, or draw, whether I was going to the postseason or not, that had players that gave away at bats. You just will not see it at this level. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That has to make you feel really good as a pitcher, right? You're making pitches all around the zone, and then you bring that one inside. You can't do anything with it. What does it do? It just locks you up inside. You have no chance to put the ball in play. Leading off for the Yankees, the designated hitter. To the plate Mickey. now, Mickey Mantle. Mantle. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. Throw into second. And he'll make it back to first as the throw won't get him. You know, D-Roll, that's not a bad way to keep it going. A base hit right there, hitting streak. 15 games and counting. Yeah, we're halfway through a calendar month, and he looks up and he's had a knock. You can't get caught up in it. You have to trust the process. Keep doing what got you to this point. Staying focused, not trying to do too much, staying within your plan and studying the opposing pitcher. Jackson. Get your pitch right here. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before was really close. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back with a better pitch and gets the punch out. Up next for the Yankees, the catcher, Jorge Posada. And he lays ball off four. here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Into the box, Don Mattingly. Hey, see it. Drive it. The first baseman, Don Mattingly. See it. Drive it. Let's go right here. Get your pitch, huh? Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Zobrist takes charge out there and he stays with it for the second out. So it's first and second with two now men gone. And second that'll base. bring up Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. Mantle over at second. Posada at first, two out in the inning. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. And this is the kind of thing that's been happening to him all season long. He'll cruise for a while, hitting his spots, and all of a sudden the wheels come off and he struggles. We'll see if he can recover here. Giancarlo Stanton. 
Get your pitch, huh? Now the one and one pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the throw no, will be too safe. late as he can't recover in time. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Wow, I think he took it for granted there a bit. Probably thought he had it in the bag, and he just lost concentration for a minute. Now his pitcher has to pick him up with two outs. Striding forward now, the back. Yankee cleanup hitter, Mickey Mantle. Hitter. He singled Mickey. his last time up. Yeah, Matty, Mantle. pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. And he'll Count look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Come on now, one pitch right here. That evens it up, one and one. Wait for your pitch up there. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Pitcher's got options here. He looked a little bit out front. Might be able to rush a fastball by him. Come on, big guy. One time. Here you go. One and two. Here it comes. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. And it's ball pitch. two. Oh, two go. runs, four hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Three balls and two strikes to the Yankees DH. Reggie Jackson will be next. Hey, like you can up there, huh? Three two pitch. He loses him on ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Digging in now for the Yankees, Reggie now Jackson. Batting. It's right been an field. 0 for 2 effort Reggie for him to this point. Right here. Back. Here's a look over to first. And oh, late reactions, and they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence no problem, so that wasn't very smart baseball. Right, Into the box on, now, man. Mickey Good Mantle. Line. It Let's was a walk in his last hitter. trip. It doesn't Mickey. look very promising so far Mantle. in this one as we move hey, into the later innings. Up. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Drilled to the right side. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Now batting, Reggie Jackson is now working batting. on a one right for field. three thus far. Reggie. Four Jackson. runs, eight hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up to second for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Really good pitch from the pitcher right there. Down in the zone, hits on top of it, induces the ground ball double play. Now in the box, Mickey Mantle. He's two for three but thus far. They look like they're Mickey. up against it here. Down Mantle. three on the road, trying to come back come on, against the closer. Here comes the first pitch. Swung on and belted. Get out the rye bread and mustard, Grandma. It's grand <laughs> time. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Two away now from the magic number 600. As this lead has been sliced down to two.
man, that's what you would call an efficient outing. One pitch, and he gets the save. He doesn't get paid by the pitch, so he just figured he'd end it quickly and hit the showers. Good call. Nine to seven, the final score in this ball game. Tampa Bay took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Babe Ruth earns his sixth winning decision in this one. Babe Ruth struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. Jose Alvarado earns the save out of the bullpen, his 28th on the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays, nine runs, 11 hits, two errors. They left six men on base. For the Yankees, seven runs, 11 hits, one error. They left 18 runners on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. Lou Gehrig. With just days left to play, the league's top power bat looks to cement his case for the home run crown. Next. Charlie Morton will be the starter for the Rays in this one. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Boy, Charlie Morton has really made a name for himself. Big arm and a big fastball. Good sinking fastball, too. 95 to 98 miles an hour. Big overhand curveball. He's very valuable, too. He's had a lot of success pitching out of the bullpen and also one of the league top starting the pitchers in the league right now. Digging in, Lou Number Gehrig. Four. With just a few Got games left time. to play, he comes into this one with a sizable lead in the home run standings. And the way he's swinging the bat, I don't think anyone catches him. It's got to be a nice feeling stepping to the plate, knowing you're going to end up a home run champ. And he will make the catch while ranging backward as he just put the glove up and hauled it in for the first out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Now to the plate, Lou Gehrig hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. Ball one to start the at bat. Come on, guy. Get your pitch up there. And 2-0 two. Two as this one's taken low. Three and oh now. Kind of frustrating as a pitcher when you start an inning off with three straight balls like he has here in the fourth. Makes you start wondering what's going on. Here it is, the 3 0. Is offered at and missed for the yep, first strike. 
What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Driven deep at the wall. It is gone. And there it is. Lou Gehrig has belted career home run number 600. One of the greatest power hitters to ever play the game. Oh, you're certainly right, Matt. With 600 home runs, you're talking about a figure only a handful of players have ever reached. It's a landmark home run in what has been a landmark career. He's shown amazing skill, remarkable consistency over the years, and I think we're all just so lucky to be here to witness this historic moment. What a privilege. Digging in and looking for more, Lou Gehrig. He's one for two in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and oh, try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. One ball, no strikes the count. Hit hard down the right field ball, line, but foul. See it drive. Let's go right here. The 1-1. One, one. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. The 1-2. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Zanino has it, and he makes the throw to first. Gehrig is retired, two down. Striding forward now is the DH, Lou Gehrig. First in the league in home runs, and he added one more to his total earlier in this game. Man, I can see myself in a Texas Rangers dugout right now, and the hitting coach, Rudy Jaramillo, would always say, batting average will fluctuate, but they can never take away ribbies and homers, and this guy just keeps adding to the total. The windup and the 0-1. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Meadows moving back. And that one is gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 601 for his career as they stretch the lead to 5 1. You want to certainly drive home runs out of the ballpark, then you better get on the gas. And that's what he did right there. That fastball was not sneaking by him. So coming to the plate, Lou Gehrig. He's gone deep twice in the game, making him two for four. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But, hey, listen, a home run is a home run. Off we go in the ball ninth one, as no the first pitch misses for ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts ball, are, D-Roll, but, boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. Hey, no one, one time, really chased right now, today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get... Swung on and belted. Meadows moving back. Still ranging back. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His third home run of the ball game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, if you would have told him when he woke up this morning that he was going to hit three home runs tonight, he would have thought he was dreaming. Well, it's a dream night, but he's wide awake. Hey, listen, in baseball, we don't see very many complete games any longer because of pitch counts. But listen, he was good from the first inning through the ninth. Well-deserved complete game victory. 7-1, the final score in tonight's.
The Yankees, with their 103rd win to set the pace in the division. Number 16 gets to double digits with his 10th win of the year, turning in a very strong, complete game effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Yankees, seven runs on ten hits. No errors, they left 17 men on base. For the Rays, one run, five hits. No errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and three minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.